Hello guys, are you bored out of your mind and not sure what to do with your spare time during this lockdown? Well, Lozask University is ready to share some ideas you could spend this time to your advantage. Improve your skills by taking some online courses. There are numerous platforms offering open access to unlimited number of professional courses. Learn or improve English or other foreign languages with our language department. For more details, check lazarski.pl. And when you have enough of reading and learning, yes, it could happen, take a moment to strengthen your body. Do home workouts every day as quarantine will over and you will have to go out someday. Do some push-ups, dumbbell crunches or any other crunches. So staying at home, you can keep your body fit. Spend some time with your family or with your lovely pet. And don't forget about your friends and relatives. Support traditional mail delivery. Write a letter to your friend or relative or send a postcard. So now is your turn to share some ideas with us on how do you spend your spare time in the lockdown. Feel free to write in the comments below and see you later. Hello guys, as you can see I'm fully equipped and ready to tell you how and when you can use public transport during the quarantine times in Warsaw. First of all, you should know that public transport follows its regular schedule, so you shouldn't worry about this. And you shouldn't use public transport if you see that there are too many people inside. And this third point, there are three cases when you are allowed to go outside and consequently using public transport. The first one is the most common, is when you are going from home to work or from work to home. Although I really hope that those of you who work do it remotely and safe from home. The second one is when you are volunteering to fight COVID-19. For example, you can help elderly people uh, to buy them food or walk with their dogs, which is a very good thing to do. And the third one is when you are carrying out activities which are necessary for your life, such as necessary shopping, buying medicines or, uh, for example, going to medical appointments. But please, try to limit yourself by closed shops and pharmacies. In case you really need to use public transport, do it wisely and make sure that you follow a couple of simple rules. First of all, you should remember that the distance between you and other people should be at least 2 meters. Also, you are not allowed to go outside by more than 2 people. So if you are going out with your parent, girlfriend or boyfriend, the distance between you should be still 2 meters. And the last one, remember that half of the seats in any kind of public transport should be empty. So if your bus has 40 seats, 20 of them should be empty. Very simple. Guys, try to keep your outside activities at minimum and don't forget to cover your mouth and nose when you are in a public place. Unfortunately, we find ourselves in a very difficult situation nowadays when we cannot come back to our countries or we cannot enjoy this beautiful spring weather. However, I'm sure that all of you are busy with writing your essays, preparing for your final exams and watching movies you didn't have time before. Let's try to follow the simple rules and I hope that very very soon we could see each other at our university, in the parks or in any place in the world we would like to visit. Hello everyone, I'm Ismail. By our side, Lazarsk University, today we would like to provide detailed information whether it's safe to go grocery shopping and the answer is yes for most of us. Let's break this down so that we can understand how to keep ourselves safe. It's a good idea to make a shopping list, plan for a week worth of meal, so you don't have to keep going back to the store. If you can go alone to the store, that means fewer people inside and less risk for everyone. If you have to wait outside while the store limits the number of people inside, please do your best to keep 2 meters apart with another customer. Please also keep in mind, it's mandatory to wear the clothes before you enter the store. And remember, no touching your eyes, no touching your nose, no touching your mouth, and no touching your face. When you are inside the store, please do your best to be patient and keep the distance between yourself and another customers and only touch what you are going to buy. We should be thankful to the grocery store workers who are doing a great service. At the checkout, be mindful and provide your cashier as much space as you can. Paying by tap is preferable for both of you instead of carrying cash. As soon as you arrive at your home, give your groceries packaging a vibe to make them clean. If you can afford to shop online and have your groceries delivered to door, that may be the safer option. Hi guys! 
because you can't do the shopping in the shopping center I'm encouraging you to do the shopping online it's safe for everyone and even during the quarantine you can shop online you can order the courier service to your doorstep or you can order it and pick it here next to the picking point uh, where the courier will drop your parcel it's very easy and you don't even have to touch anything you just can use the code from your phone uh, this is really safe and really convenient for everyone so everyone stay home stay safe and stay healthy bye I would like to tell you about healthcare during this time so if you have coronavirus symptoms such as fever cough and shortness of breath then first of all keep calm then call to the nearest Povyat sanitary and epidemiological center the phone number you can find in the link below the video for those of you who have doubts about suspected coronavirus there is a special hotline from national health fund the phone number is 800-190-590 for english press 6 and follow the instruction some of you may ask what if i need health care not related to coronavirus well in this case it's better to contact medical clinic closest to the place where you live. In Polish it's so-called Przychodnia Lekarska. You can contact either state or private medical clinic depending on the health insurance that you have. Most of clinics have online registration as well as appointment with doctors online. If you will need to order a prescription it can also be done online. If you need immediate assistance, you should call to the toll-free emergency call number 112. Service is available in Polish and English.